Welcome to the Children of God. I'm your host, Karen Fletcher. And today we have with us Mrs. Tia White from Suffolk, Virginia. Mrs. Knight is married and the mother of three young men. She is currently enrolled in a business administration and technology program. Mrs. Knight is also the owner of Smart Tea Designs, LLC, and Ephraim Enterprises, located right here in Virginia. Good morning, Mrs. Knight, and welcome. Good morning, thank you for having me. Mrs. Knight, please share with the audience what Ephraim Enterprises is all about. Well, Ephraim Enterprises' mission is to assist young youth ages 14 to 24 as they reach the age of transition out of foster care by providing mentoring, educational, employment, and housing opportunities to those in the greatest need. Ephraim Enterprises became a passion of mine many years ago when I discovered my personal history at the age of 13. When I grew up and I did not know that I was adopted, I was taken into foster care at the age of two years old. I am thankful that I was adopted and had a great chance at success. However, I still had to deal with the issues of pain and neglect that followed me. This affected my confidence to do so many things that I wanted to do. I felt unloved, and until I started to really understand why things happened the way they did, I continued on a downward spiral in my life. And so many kids had have these issues and experience this pain and feel this neglect. And I knew I wanted to help many others through this challenging time. My message is to let kids like me know, believe that there is, there is hope no matter what you are going through. Wow. Now that is something I didn't expect and I didn't know your story, but thank you for sharing your testimony with us. We realize that we see so many kids who are out here and they're hurting yes. and to have a company that you have started and to extend yourself and to extend help to those children and those young adults is just really going to be a powerful message to the world. I'd like to know if you could give me some uh, national studies or statistics to help our viewers understand just the magnitude of this issue. Well, national studies have shown that within two to four years of leaving foster care at the age of 18, 40% were homeless. And with me being able to relate, I left my, my adopted home at the age of 16 years old. 40% were receiving public assistance or they were incarcerated. Mm -hmm. And I received public assistance. 40% experienced drug or alcohol abuse. I began drinking alcohol. 40%, 46% had not received their high school diploma. I did not finish my high school diploma. I mean, you know, I didn't receive mine. 51% were unemployed. I cannot relate with that one, but look how many I relate with. And then 84% became parents, and I also became a mother at 16. It was my vision for Ephraim Enterprises to have what we call a healing house, and I will call it Ephraim Healing Center. We call it the Circle of Life. We call it the Circle of Life Center because the program will bring us to where God intends us to be. This will be a safe, safe and secure place, a place for healing and emotional um, scars. The next generation of youth are asking for our help, and we want to provide them with the help. We want staff members to be able to help you through mentoring, take time to show them basic living skills, to account for themselves and their resources. We want to provide financial literacy programs, tutoring, parenting classes, drug and alcohol abuse programs, sexual abuse programs, and so much more. We will also provide career counseling and help them obtain a GED and provide housing services. Wow, you will literally change their lives totally around. That is awesome. You know, I share that passion and uh, I look forward to us doing work in the future to try to bridge the gap and to reach out and extend a hand to those individuals who are suffering, who are transitioning out of foster care and who don't have a home to go to otherwise. That is awesome. Ms. Knight, 
I'm, I'm also, you know, constructing homes just as uh, you are. Please tell us even more what type of local or state resources that you're able to help these individuals with. But because we are a nonprofit organization, we will be partnering with local and state um, resources. Right. And we will be accepting all types of donations, whatever we can have, and whoever can help, we look forward to um, receiving that help. And it, however you can help, we look forward to that help. That's wonderful. How can our audience get in contact with you? Um, at this moment, you can email us at efromenterprises22 at gmail.com, or you can simply call us at 434-637-8350. We don't have a um, website up yet, but please look forward um, to receiving that information. We will have it soon. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing this information and letting this community know that we are out here trying to work with young children and young adults who are in the foster care system and those who transition out. Thank you again for your hard work and your dedication and your good heart. And thank you audience today for extending yourself and listening to the children of God. We look forward to seeing you next week here on GTV. Have a great day.